Yo! Welcome back to the Maple Hut, everybody. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to uninstall MapleStory. So what you wanna do is have your Nexon window open, uh, click on the three dots right here, and then click on settings. Once you open this window, you wanna to go to game configure, and then uninstall, and we'll be right there, or repair installation. So what repair installation will do is that it'll open up your Maple Fo MapleStory folder and it'll go through it, and if, say, if you have corrupted or missing files, it'll go through and repair them or, or replace them with the correct files that are needed. So uh, that, say that's a quicker way to just repairing your MapleStory instead of uninstalling and completely reinstalling it. It'll save you a little bit of time. So uh, that's one way to do it. As you guys can, can see, by the way, I'm on Parallels today. Uh, my video on how to play MapleStory on a Mac, um, if you're wondering how to do that, it's on the channel as well. You can, you know, go search that. It's in our videos. Um, but today I'm on Parallels, so eventually I'll be I'll make a video on how to play MapleStory on Windows 10 on a Mac through Parallel and VirtualBox. I'll probably do two separate videos, or maybe I'll, you know, bring it all into one video. Um, but for now, yeah, I'm using Parallels, so yeah, that's one way to do it. Um, another way to do it would be, say, if you're using, if you're on an older version of Windows and you're not on Windows 10, then what you can do is go to your control panel. Open that up. And once that's open, you come down here to uninstall the program. So um, in here will be, if you're on an older version of MapleStory, which, uh, or older version of Windows, I'm not sure if it does this anymore, but it may say MapleStory in here and you may be, be able to straight up uninstall it right out of your control panel. And if you can do it, then do it that way. <laughs> um, but what you can also do is that, say, um, if your Nexon launcher, uh, if one of the options are grayed out, then what you can do is either I would say to wait a little bit it's it should pop back up and like you should be able to pick the buttons um, if not then close out of the launcher reopen it and uh, retry it again and still if not then you can come to your control panel uh, oh looks like I had to open uh, so yeah come to your control panel and then uninstall the Nexon launcher completely and then uh, go through uh, whatever website or web browser you use and download the Nexon launcher there and restart the process. So yeah, that's two out of the three ways I'm going to be showing you guys how to uninstall MapleStory today. And the last out of the three will be is uh, just completely deleting your Nexon folder. So normally, typically, when you install MapleStory, uh, this will be the default location is uh, local disk, Nexon, library, MapleStory app data. So this is where all of your MapleStory folders lie, all of your, you know, the MapleStory application game launcher and all that. So say if you're having a problem with the Nexon launcher, the buttons are grayed out or something's not working or and the control panel isn't working, maybe MapleStory isn't in there or you can't see it or something's happening, then uh, I would, my third suggestion would be just to completely delete this folder. So you would just come to your, go to your local disk click on next on and just completely delete that folder. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys and if it has in any way shape or form please subscribe to us on the bottom right and hit that bell notification for any new videos that we'll have coming out. And as always have a great day and thanks.